Welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about the major components of our digital computer. A computer can be perceived as a system comprised of multiple interconnected components that collaborate with the objective of transforming data into information. The market offers numerous computer systems featuring a diverse range of manufacturers, models, and additional devices. In general, a computer system is composed of four major components, the central processing unit or CPU, the input unit, the output unit, and the storage or memory unit. The block diagram of our digital computer is shown here. First, let's talk about the CPU. CPU, also referred to as the processor, serves as the computer system's brain, responsible for processing input data and transforming it into meaningful output information. This intricate component is a highly complex collection of electronic circuits that execute stored program instructions. The CPU controls all internal and external devices, carrying out arithmetic and logic operations exclusively on binary data, comprised of ones and zeros. Furthermore, it governs the utilization of main memory for storing data and instructions, while also managing the sequence of operations. The CPU consists of three major subsystems. Each of them are going to be described in this video, starting with ALU. Arithmetic Logic Unit or ALU executes arithmetic operations and logical operations on the provided data. Whenever an arithmetic or logical operation is to be performed, the necessary data is transferred from the memory unit to the ALU. The operation is then carried out and the result is sent back to the memory unit. During the processing cycle, Data may need to shuttle back and forth between these sections multiple times. Ultimately, the results are conveyed from the internal storage to an output device. Next, the control unit or CU. This unit checks the accuracy of operation sequences. It fetches program instructions from the memory unit, interprets their meaning, and ensures accurate program execution. It additionally manages input-output devices and oversees the comprehensive operation of the computer's other units. Now, let's talk about registers. Registers are the special purpose high-speed temporary memory units capable of storing diverse information such as data, instructions, addresses, and intermediate calculation results. Essentially, they house the data that the CPU is presently engaged with. Registers function as the CPU's operational memory, serving as a special additional storage location that offers the advantage of speed. Now we will talk about input and output units. Before any operation can be executed, the user is required to input instructions and data into the computer system. Likewise, once the data has been processed, the information needs to be transmitted from the computer system to the user. To facilitate this exchange, every computer system integrates input and output units that function as communication channels connecting the computer system and the user. The input unit receives instructions and data from the user, facilitated by input devices like keyboards, mouse, light pens, and so on. As data and instructions from different input devices may vary in format, the input unit transforms them into a compatible form that the computer can understand. Subsequently, the input unit delivers these converted instructions and data to the computer for subsequent processing. The output unit operates in direct contrast to the input unit. It takes the computer-generated outputs, which are in machine-coded format, and transforms them into a format understandable to the user. These converted results are then conveyed to the user through output devices like printers, monitors, and plotters. Within a computer system, a storage unit is integrated to retain the input received from the input unit before the commencement of processing, as well as to hold the results generated by the computer prior to delivering them to the output unit. The computer's storage unit consists of two kinds of memory, primary and secondary. The primary memory, 
also known as main memory, is the part of a computer that holds the instructions and data currently being processed by the CPU, the intermediate results produced during the course of calculation, and the recently processed data. With instructions and data residing in the main memory, the CPU can directly and swiftly access them. However, primary memory comes at a notable cost and offers limited storage space. Owing to this confinement in primary memory size, computers employ secondary memory, extensively used for data and instruction storage. This secondary memory supplies stored information to other computer units on demand. It presents a greater storage capacity and comes at a more affordable price point compared to primary memory. Some examples of secondary storage devices include floppy disk, hard disk, and tape drives. So that's all for this lesson. See you in the next one. Thank you.